Hello again. Welcome to French Hawes Bear Review. I'm Scott. And I'm still Jeff. Ah, just like last time. Again. Uh, tonight we have a uh, double IPA from uh, White Birch Brewing in uh, Hookset, New Hampshire. This one is 9.2% uh, alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> we could uh, not find uh, really any information about no, this beer. No IBUs, nothing. Uh, There's a lot of like nonsense on the can, but it doesn't really um, doesn't really give you any insight as to uh, what's going on here. Balance, hop forward, flavor, West Coast, Coast hops. I told you about reading on camera. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, the heady just exploded on me. Um, yeah, so I have no idea what to expect here. Um, I had this one the other day. It was very good. Oh, thank you, sir. I had uh, their porter before. Uh, I thought it was very average. Um, that's really all I know about this brewery. Kind yeah. of a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. White Birch. Uh, they have quite a few different styles at uh, store up the road from us. Yeah, got it locally. Um, I don't even remember. It was probably in the 9 to 10, 50 price range, if I had to guess. Yeah. I don't remember offhand. I bought it with some other others. Six pack, warm at the store that we buy it at. They don't have a lot of craft beer that's right. cold. The closest store to us, which is unfortunate. That has okay, acceptable stuff. Yeah. So, um, all right. You want to go ahead and uh, sniff it? <laughs> Huh. Unusual for an IPA. Yep. It smells I agree. sharp, almost. Almost like one of those beers that we always bitch about, the the, the Belgians. Yeah. Almost, almost banana. It must be the glass, maybe. It looks like it too. Cloudy. Yep. Light. I'm almost scared now. Hmm. Your, your six is upside down. <laughs> um, I think... Uh, I, I like have to take two. I like the taste better than the smell. The smell threw me yeah, out oh, a yeah, bit, yeah. but um, uh, the taste brings it's, it right back to where double IPA... It's very... It's hard to describe. This is a strange beer. It's a very soft setting IPA. Like it's not like the a boom citrus hops in your face kind of thing. It's, yeah. The bitterness is there. Yep. Towards the back, I think towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, Alcohol is there. The smell is bizarre. It is. We don't have any idea on hops, huh? No, nope. couldn't find anything. I think it's kind of on the lower side for a double. No, well, yeah, I'm just wondering. I think they use a lot of whatever they use, but I don't think they're very strong hops. Mm -hmm. You know, does that make any sense? Probably? Yeah, but it lingers with the taste. Uh, yeah, kind of I, mean, I can still taste it. Yeah, it definitely but it, it hangs on for a while. Yeah, it's more of a towards the grassy side rather than the citrusy side, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, different smell though. Almost to me, like a Belgian, Belgian yeah. triple or something like. And we don't like those. I mean, we'll drink them because usually they're high in alcohol. I believe that's probably yeah. the only reason we drink them. But uh, yeah, Belgian beer is just not that good. Yeah, not for us. Right. Not that so, they're not good. So if you exactly. really like Belgian beers, you probably won't agree with a lot of our reviews. But that's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, subscribe, you know, comment. On YouTube, Beer Advocate we got this one out as an 85, which is a very good category. And I'd have to agree, a lot of times uh, a double IPA will give you like a alcoholic taste, and I don't, I don't get that from this. It's not. A What's an alcoholic taste like? <laughs> 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 um, a lot 
lot of times you can taste the booze, a boozy flavor and a double yeah, IPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get this, and that's 9.2. That's hot. Mm -hmm. It's there. So, uh, uh, this came in a six pack? No, four. Okay. Oh, oh no, yeah, six 12s. Yeah. Yeah. If you drank six of these. Ah, oh, you'd be a shit show, a uh, mess. <laughs> Wow, good luck if you if you put down six of these in a couple hours. I mean, I drank two of them, the three of them. And I was good. I ate dinner and I went to bed. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if you can find this. I, uh, it's interesting. Worth it's, sh worth trying. I think it's kind uh, of a, di a different take on a double IPA. Wasn't terribly expensive. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a yeah. It's you're, yeah. it's worth worth a shot. I mean, if you know some, if you know, like you walk in the store and you're like. I really want to try this, but then they said to do this. Eh, you might want to lean towards what you really wanted to try if you know you're not going to get it anytime soon. You got twelve dollars and you're looking to get hollered. End up on Weird Street, <laughs> knock back a few of these. Yeah. This will do it. A nine crazy percent. It's like one of these is almost like having three, three butt heavies. So uh, check it out. White Birch Brewing. Hooks at New Hampshire, they're double, double IPA. IPA. They don't get fancy with the names, and they don't get fancy with telling you anything about the beers. So it's kind of... It's uh, their business, I guess, but... Yeah. It's annoying to us that try to... Give you the, finished your beer? Half a beer. It's not my fault, Scott. You talk too much. All right. All right. Well, you guys, it's your turn to talk. Comment. Subscribe. Let us know if you've had the beer. Like Let the us videos. know. Uh, yeah, if you know any more information about it, we'd love to hear it. IBUs is what we're looking for. So uh, thanks for watching again, and we will see you next time. I chairs them, but I can't. <laughs>